you know, in the mid seventies, we went on an average of five picnics a year with our neighbors. Oh my! <laughs> and that was down to two by the mid nineties. So bring back picnics! Um, oh my god! Bring back picnics! You know. <laughs> I mean, I did just have a picnic the other day, Julie. But the hard thing feels like getting everyone to talk at the picnic. I saw a survey the other day that said like more than half of American adults say they've been finding it harder to build relationships. So I think something's just up in our society where people are struggling to find the sense of community that they want. It really is something you have to focus on daily. It doesn't actually come naturally. We can choose what resonates most with us. And my choice is I want to value, again, friends as much as a potential spouse. And because so much of our society is oriented around romantic relationships and nuclear families, it can be hard to know how to build support systems outside of those. Do you find it easier to make the chit chat with the bus driver than to make a friend? Making a friend is like a real energetic investment. I can't explain, like, I want to make a friend, but I only want to make like one friend. Like, I don't want (laughs) a million friends, like. The individualism that's so central to American culture can make it hard for people to make the deep connections that they want. Hmm. It's not that they don't want to connect, usually. I think the attempt to reverse engineer community can be complicated because community is made up of relationships, but relationships are fundamentally built on talking. Why are so many of us hesitant to ask for help? One, we often don't see people asking for help, so we think everybody else is doing it on their own, Mm. which is a lie. (laughs) Building real community is like not an ideology. It's a practice. I'm Julie Beck, a senior editor at The Atlantic. And I'm Becca Rashid, producer of the How To series. In reporting for The Atlantic, I've wanted to understand how the pressure to be self-sufficient shapes our relationships in ways that we don't always even realize. To the point that just talking to strangers, neighbors, and even friends can feel harder than it should. This is How to Talk to People. Join us for six episodes that explore how to build relationships and push back against a culture encouraging us to go it alone. New episodes come out every Monday, beginning May 22nd.